Hi, this is Jeffrey Manuel and welcome to the Build Us and Think Us show. And this is episode two. And you remember I said in the first episode that I was going to come up with a name? Well, here it is. It's, it's going to be called the Build Us and Think Us show. So yeah, um, today we're going to talk about like an interesting conversation I had with a friend. He's, he's a business owner and we're talking about like assets, right? So my friend, he he's kind of like at the same place that I, I used to be where he um and if, if you're a business owner you understand this so so what, what we all have been taught like in the beginning is that you create a product and then you sell the product you create a product and then you sell the product so you create a product whether it's an app or a website or a book or a course and then the thing you do next is that you um put out ads you do some direct marketing you you know get some sales you send out sales people or you go do the sales yourself and stuff like that but what happens is that after a while, you realize that it's not sustainable. So you, so you get into this cycle of product launches. So you sell the product this month and it's selling for let's say three or four months or whatever it is. And then now sales have dropped or you're not converting as much or you're not getting enough traffic. What do you do next, right? And this is where my friend um, is right now. And th that's where I, I used to be. And the solution that I found is that you have to create an asset and I, I learned this to someone who was explaining what, what the difference is between regular entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs who think like investors and there's this really there's this really good book um i, I think it's called the outsiders yes it's called the outsiders and you should, you should check it out it it talks about how some of the most successful companies in the world the people who run them are actually really good at capital allocation and what that really means is that it's someone who is an effective manager of resources. So they know where to put money, they know where to put resources, they know where to put capital. So the question is that, how do you create like an asset in your business? And the reason why this is important is that it will bring you a consistent stream of income, but it will also help you to be able to sell your business one day if you want to, or even partner with like someone else and stuff like that. So um, yeah. So this is what an asset is. So an asset is where you take a product, a product that's really good, a product that actually converts, and then you take a selling system. So a selling system that's proven. Let me let me give you an example. So let's say let's say McDonald's for example, or whatever like is the best um, restaurant franchise in in your neighborhood. What McDonald's has been able to do really well is that they've created a really good product. They've created a really good brand. If they have like really good operations, but that's not enough. They also have a great selling system that brings them consist a consistent stream of customers. So you, t you take a regular McDonald's, for example, as a franchisee, when you buy a McDonald's, you don't just get the product. They also, you know, show you how to promote the business and even have promotional strategies that bring in people. So it could be through events, it could be through ads, it could be through promotions, whatever it is, they have this system that brings in a consistent stream of customers and you've heard you've heard me say this over and over again where people don't usually um, fail in business because they don't have a good product usually they fail in business because they don't have a steady like they don't know how to get a steady stream of paying customers so that steady stream of paying customers that's the system that brings you that it could be a really good sales letter it could be a really good ad it could be really good salesman it could be a really good customer acquisition campaign whatever that thing is you have to keep doing it over and over and over and over again and that's what's going to bring you a consistent stream of um, paying customers so when you couple your product with that sales system or that customer acquisition system that's when you have an asset and that's that's where your business now can even be sold to someone else and the person knows that you know whatever happens I'm still going to be making money if McDonald's sells a franchise to someone the person isn't you know going to wake up at night wondering how am i going to get people to come here they know that mcdonald's has already built an asset and given them the asset and when people buy companies they want to buy an asset they want to buy something that's not just a product but something that's going to bring a constant stream of customers so the way thing about this is that whatever your product what sales strategy or what um, sales system brings you a consistent stream of paying customers and whatever that is, I keep doing it over and over and over again. And that is your assets. So one day, if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I want, I want to buy your business, 
you can easily tell them that this is our product this is our sales system and it's an asset you can you can buy from me and you still be making the same amount of money i'm making and you can even be making more if you decide to pull more capital or you decide to scale a um, sales process because it's difficult to scale products many times but it's very easy to sit to scale a sales process so that's what i wanted to share today about assets and if you have any questions you can email me at jeff at growing startup.com and cow growing startup.com slash podcast that's where i'm going to put the show notes and um and like stuff stuff about this episode all right thank you and god bless